beautiful San Diego, California. This is boxing. This is Top Rank, presented by Hall of Fame boxing promoter Mr. Bob Arum, and brought to you this evening by Boost Mobile, Money is Power, and by the new film Samaritan, starring Sylvester Stallone coming to Prime Video August 26th. This bout is scheduled for eight rounds in the junior lightweight division. Our judges at ringside, Rudy Baragan, Dr. Lou Moret, and Alejandro Rochin, and the man in charge at the sound of the bell, Eddie Hernandez Sr. Introducing first out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 131.8 pounds, wearing blue trunks with white and gold trim. His record, 12 victories with only two defeats. Nine of those victories coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Houston, Texas, Alejandro Porcha Guerrero. Introducing out of the red corner, he weighed in at 131.6 pounds, wearing white trunks with blue trim. His record, 17 victories with only one defeat, 11 victories coming by way of knockout from Sacramento, California. Xavier Martinez, a minus 575 favorite here against Alejandro Porchop Guerrero, who was nicknamed that because he was chunky back in the day. Mark, you chunky like me right now. That's what it was. You, you look good, man. I know what you're talking about. I'm, 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 I'm camping. <laughs> <laughs> you would say we're llenito in Spanish. Llenito. Ooh, previously trained by Ray Woods, now Xavier Martinez made the move over to RGBA, trained by Robert Garcia and the entire crew, and we see Porchop Alejandro Guerrero coming out the fight. Ooh. Nice counter, right hand from Guerrero. Yeah, he was expecting that. Guerrero was waiting on that jab to come Ooh. out. A lot of times, guys, they throw jabs from the wrong position. See, he's he's close, he's inside now, but at mid-range, when you throw a jab, guess what? <laughs> you can be clipped over the top with a right hand. See Guerrero going to the body as well as now Xavier Martinez coming off his first professional loss against Robson Conceição. He was out hustled in that fight and outclassed, and he said I had to change something up. See Martinez right now, he's using his, he's using his experience right now. You know he's he's taking his time. He's taking a lot of the shots on the glove. Some is getting through, but he's buying his time. He's waiting, and now he's found him, he's about to mount his attack on Guerrero. Guerrero works 10-hour days inspecting large equipment from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. at a Pemex oil plant in Houston, Texas, then goes to the gym from 4.30 to 8 or 9 p.m. every day. So he does this because he loves it, but he says, I want to get a win tonight, and hopefully I can stop doing my day job and just dedicate myself to boxing. Man, the commitment of these fighters, honestly, man, it's and it's tough when you, ooh, he slapped him with that body shot. <laughs> it's tough when you have to work and then you have to find time and balance boxing alongside of it. You know, it can be draining. It can, look, it can be a bit demoralizing at times. When you're tired, you know you got to go to the gym. But when you love something, you do what you got to do, baby. That's it. And he's engaged to Brianna Crenshaw, their parents to a three-year-old son, Alejandro Jr. So he says, that's why I do it. Because my three-year-old son, I want him to see his daddy and be proud of what I'm capable of doing, following my dream. Nice jab and then a follow-up right hand from Xavier Martinez. Oh, yeah. counter left for Martinez. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm hoping that, that Martinez learned from his last fight. He got hustled in the last fight against Conce Sao. Watch your head. Watch your head. You know, he didn't let his hands go enough. And, you know, he's getting away with it right now in his first round. It's okay. You know, be defensive. You know, both guys are fresh. But the second round, he can't allow this to happen in the second round. Yeah, you can't allow Guerrero to just tee off on you like that. And Porkchop is getting his best shots in right now. Yeah, he's getting his best shots. He better not run out of gas, I can tell you that much. He better have good stamina because Martinez is going to come on strong. Now you see 
A three punch combination from Martinez himself. The irony, pork chop Guerrero works for an oil company, gas company. He might not run out of gas. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> right, let's listen in to Xavier Martinez in the corner. Deep with breath, Robert Xavier. Garcia Jr. How do you feel? Him? How do you feel? Him? Yeah. Deep breath. Look, that's all he has right there. Look, he wanted to start the fight off like that, really, really aggressive. You gotta be smart and use your nice and smart. Make sure when you throw, when, when you throw that jab, you keep that left hand nice and high. And on the inside, when you throw the body punch, remember, count to the body too, all right? RGBA, the house of champions. When you have a trainer like Robert Garcia, who right now is out in Saudi Arabia, he was training um, Anthony Joshua for that rematch against Alexander Usyk, which he lost. But nonetheless, a lot of the young fighters who are coming up talk about Pita, his son, who's in the corner tonight, Jose Contreras, and how the rest of the team rallies together to cover for Robert when he's not there. And you see that quality in those instructions, too. Definitely see the quality in the instructions. Push, around, and, you know, around, Pita's been around the game for okay, a very long time. Uh, you know, his father was a fighter. You know, he grew up in the gym. And so he has a ton of experience and has absorbed a ton of knowledge being right next to his father. And not only that, his grandfather, Eduardo Garcia, true, yeah. Big G, who still goes to the gym, has his chair there, and is still giving instructions to a lot of the young, young up-and-coming fighters. He was a man who took not only his son, Robert Garcia, to a world title, but Fernando Vargas as well, out of that Colonia gym in Oxnard, California. So third-generation trainer in Robert, Robert Garcia, Pita Jr. You see that left hook from Xavier Martinez. And you see Xavier Martinez trying to follow the instructions of his corner. He's starting to use his feet, pick up his feet. He's not standing directly in front of Guerrero. Guerrero's still trying to apply the pressure, just trying to outwork Martinez. He knows, his team knows, that Martinez can be somewhat defensive. If you're letting your hands go on him, he's going to be defensive and just be ready for the counterattack. If you can avoid that, you can win the fight. See spots like this when nothing's going on. You see, you see Guerrero right there using the jab. That's what you want to do. That's how you win those dead spots. Using that jab, and that's a that's one way to bridge the gap. Is by using that stick. You can use it various ways, up and down. You can you can change levels with it. You can faint with it. You can probe with it. Just to get a response. Just to occupy the eyes of the opposition. That's what that's for. So you can land your power shots. Nice counter from David Martinez. It was a little bit behind the, the head of Guerrero who, who leapt in, but you can see the idea of what Martinez was trying to do there. He lands a, a lunging left hook, leaping left hook. He disguised it very well. Martinez did with that hook. Almost looked like he was throwing a jab. He threw it the same way, but then looped it. Good head movement, used his legs to get out, find an angle. But then he didn't capitalize after making his opponent, Guerrero, miss. There he goes to the body. X once again digs downstairs with the left hook. Look out, look out, look out. Stop! Don't punch. Don't punch. Tonight, when we move over to ESPN at, Stop at the bell. 10 Pacific, 7 Eastern, we will see Nico Ali Walsh in the ring inside this via split decision like we said and ali won two out of those three fights the third one a very controversial decision in favor of the greatest of all time let him, let him, muhammad him, ali let him, let him now in the ring xavier martinez with the white trunks trimmed in blue with the blue trunks with gold and white it's pork chop alejandro guerrero who got caught by martinez and always has an answer work out of it See, Martinez is doing a good job when he uses his footwork. He needs to get off those ropes, though. You don't want to be squared up. Mm. His opponent giving him both hands, opportunities to land both hands. But when he uses, when he uses his feet from the outside. Nice counter right kill really quick as Guerrero's getting the best of Martinez. Well, this is the thing. Guerrero, he, you, you see what he's trying to do. He's just trying to storm Martinez. Martinez is starting to recognize that, and he's taking that half a step back, and he's looping that right hand or a straight right hand right over the top. He's catching Guerrero as he's coming in. Martinez landing a nice left hook to the body. 
It reminds Guerrero to try to do the same thing as he, as he gets caught with an overhand right from Martinez. Uppercut with the left hand from Martinez. A straight right hand from Martinez, and he's found his range, Tim. Yes, he did. He found his best range, and not only that, but the technique of Martinez is a lot better than Guerrero. Control of distance from Xavier Martinez. You see how simple it is to get Guerrero off of him Watch with just head, a stick. See, Guerrero makes a, a ton of mistakes. He squares up inside. And when you square up, you leave yourself exposed. You don't have balance. Mm. And you, you become a bigger target. That long right hand from Xavier Martinez finding a home for him. And he's realizing that those straight shots do a lot of damage on Guerrero. Watch the experience right now of Martinez come through. That's what's coming through right now for him, the experience. He's worn down Guerrero. Stop, don't punch. Already. You see the mouth of Guerrero wide open. He's, he's looking for some answers right now. And now he's starting to arm punch. Indication that he's starting to tire. Having a full-time job is no easy task, and trying to combine that with boxing. When you've got an opponent who dedicates himself strictly to the ring, this is where the class shows. Porkchop taking two body shots, an overhand right, and a flurry from Martinez. Now he digs to the body with the left, and a good round with a fighter out of Sacramento, California. Sit down, sit down. Deep breath. Deep breath. Look, you just can't give him a good opportunity when you get on the road to throw it. Throw. Even if he's not landing, even if he's not landing, the judges could give him go go down. Go down, go down. Throw punches that shit. My piece. My piece. Go back. Right there. I need to wipe down some more. Referee Eddie Hernandez Sr. making sure Box. both corners wipe down their respective work areas. And you see Alejandro Guerrero trying to come out to him and establish something early stop, because stop, then he stop, starts stop, stop. to tire. Don't push his head down, okay? You all right? Yeah, he, he's Box. looking for a second win right now, but he's still trying to push the pace. And he's coming down that first minute, but now he has to weather the storm because of Martinez. He comes on Don't hold strong. Mm, a good body work from Guerrero. Yeah, but he, he, Guerrero makes a, tons of mistakes, honestly. Terrible in transition. You know, he's loading up with shots. He's off balance at times. He squares up a whole heck of a lot. And Martinez is going to make him pay. Let him go, let him go, let him go, let him go. Work no, out we talk it. about Stop. fundamentals, Don't fundamentals, punch. fundamentals. The holding, simple okay? fundamentals, Let's keeping your, your back leg behind you, keeping your chin tucked, not telegraphing your shots, using a nice discipline jab free, at the guys. right Hands range. Don't punch, don't punch. Hey, don't hit behind the back, okay? You don't hit behind the back either, all right? Let's go, box. These are things that Guerrero is lacking. And that's what Xavier Martinez is taking advantage of, as you see how Guerrero's being backed up. And let him go, let him go. He, his body Stop. language Don't is punch. all wrong now, Tim. Yeah, I mean, that's what that's what we do in the gym, honestly. When you're sparring guys, they come in and they, they start off fast. They're like amateurs. Amateurs, you get beat on for the first four rounds when you're sparring amateurs. But anything past that, <laughs> the professional takes over. Because they start to slow down and they make a ton of mistakes. And that's what you're seeing from Guerrero. He's fighting like an amateur, throwing those punches, combinations like that. Mm. And you see who's landing the harder, cleaner punches. And, and that's Martinez. Eddie Hernandez so punch, so punch. Sr. telling yeah, Alejandro right? Guerrero, show me something because he sees what we're seeing. It's just the demeanor. Go, it's go, the fact that go. he's slower on his feet. The reflexes aren't there, and he just doesn't want him to get hurt. Uh, Guerrero, Guerrero, I mean, he's game. He's game, but just poor fundamentals. Yeah. And that's what's causing it causing him to lose this fight. He's getting beat down. Stop. Don't punch. He has no don't answers for return fire. You, okay? He knows go. how to dish it, Box. but he don't know how to avoid it. That's kind of the fundamentals of boxing, right? You got to know how to avoid a punch because if not, you're going to have a short career, a short night. Work out of it, guys. Work out of it. Work out of it. Mm. And then 
not only that, Bernardo, but you do good work. And then if you can't avoid the other guy's fight, you, you're letting them back in the fight. Let him go, let Absolutely. him go, Martinez. Hands are free, guys. Ooh, short left hook from Xavier Martinez. And if he puts mm. the pressure on, he may be able to finish this fight shortly. Up at the bell. Mm. Now, last time we saw, there's only one way to prove it, and that's in the ring, as Giovanni Santillan in front of his home crowd fans will have a chance to do it again. And, Tim, go, great finish from Alejandro Watch Guerrero out. there in round number four, in a round that was being dominated by Xavier Martinez. Oh, it was a nice close of that round. It was an even exchange by both men. It was a right hand versus the right hand. He's probably thankful that that was the end of the round. Absolutely. Sometimes when you get hurt is as important as how badly you get hurt. Because had that happened earlier, maybe Guerrero has a chance to pounce on Xavier Martinez. Let's see if that minute was enough time for him to recover. And if Guerrero saw just how damaged Martinez was on his way back to the corner. Man, Martinez got so much, so much skill, honestly, man. I, I, I've, I've watched this guy in the past, and he's just, you know, I'm, I'm waiting on him to put it all together. Put it all together, man. You went with your head and chest, okay? All right? Let's go. Fox. Warning from Eddie Hernandez on Alejandro Guerrero for going in with his head. Oh, now we see a cut under the right eye on the cheekbone of Alejandro Guerrero. It looks like it was that left hook that caused it. See, if Martinez was to just take a step back. See, it's a lot of 50-50 exchanges going on. Both guys are just going back and forth. Mm. But if he just took a half a step back and did some work and allowed Guerrero to make some mistakes, he'll be able to land more cleanly, more effectively, and he won't be having to throw so many punches. He could walk him into something. Yes. But he makes this fight so hard all the time, and I'm talking about Martinez. See a quick combination from Xavier Martinez now walking down Alejandro Guerrero. Well, maybe it wasn't a cut. Just blood from his nose. And another thing that Martinez could be doing, he's trying to locate the head right now. He needs to go down to the body if he wants to get rid of Guerrero. Guerrero is taking his best shot up top. Let him up, let him up. Watch your heads, guys. Go downstairs and test that body. Oh, mm. nice right hand from Xavier Martinez mm. from the outside. Now he's punishing Guerrero with the left hook. Quick flurry. The legs are a little bit shaky on Alejandro Guerrero, but his heart is as determined as ever. Ooh, Big ooh, shots ooh, here for ooh. Martinez to close out this fifth round of a scheduled eight rounder. And the fight is stopped by Eddie Hernandez with just seconds left in round number five. Ooh, there it is. Ooh, there it is. Great finish right there for Martinez. It just changed gears. That's what he did. He changed gears. <laughs> he made Eddie Hernandez do his job. And that's sometimes all it takes because Hernandez for the last two rounds has been telling Guerrero, show me something. And the one who showed him something was Martinez. Yeah, you're absolutely right. You know, Guerrero, let's give props to him. He's a tough kid, but definitely lacking in the, the technique department and fundamentals. But not lacking in the toughness, not at all. Um, stood his ground. He fought as hard as he possibly could, but Martinez showed up today, man. He showed up and showed out. Like I was saying before, he makes sometimes Martinez can make these fights a lot harder for himself than it should be. He has skill. He can step back, and when he stepped back and he got distance and he ran those combinations, it was beautiful. That's what started everything. Just a little bit of distance so he can extend with those arms. But once he got going, there was no stopping. Let's take a look at this fifth round. And then, you know, around you're taking too many shots he went to him several times i think two times in the corner and let him know hey if you continue to take this type of punishment i'm gonna step in and stop it did yeah a great the, job it's not like he didn't warn him he, he let him know that he wanted to see something several times in the fight guerrero didn't oblige mm -hmm. xavier martinez did and he comes away with a technical knockout victory in the fifth round what was the official time mark chinook has that number Ladies and gentlemen, here inside Pachanga Arena, referee Eddie Hernandez Sr. calls a stop to this bout at two minutes, 57 seconds of round number five. For your winner by knockout, 
Xavier Martinez! 18th victory as a pro. A dozen of them have come by way of knockout. And as Tim mentioned, sometimes he makes it harder on himself.